thank you very much, man. Thanks for having me. I'm really uh, having a good time so far. So, what was the beginning? How how do you became a a producer? How you became a DJ? Um, well, you know, it was uh, I've I've been doing music for a long, long time. You know, I've, even before uh, techno and house started to uh, come up, you know, like in the late 80s and early 90s. Before that, I was already making music, you know, with uh, tapes. Uh, tape loops, you know, drum machine, stuff like that, you know, just, you know, fucking around, experimenting. And um, um, I've also done, like, production back then for some uh, hip-hop bands. Uh, and then and then techno and, and house came along, and I was immediately, yes, you know, this is, this is it, you know. I loved it. So um, so gradually, you know, my, my style just gradually changed to more, you know, dance floor-oriented music. And... Um, yeah, I just started uh, experimenting, you know, but you have to remember back then, nobody was doing this, you know, there was only a handful of, food, handful of people, there were a few very, very small labels from Detroit, from Chicago and New York, and um, in my country, there were only maybe, you know, two, three, four, five people um, making this music, so um, it was a whole different environment, you know, there were no radio shows, there, there was no internet, you know, there, everything was like... Uh, word of mouth and uh, meeting people in record shops, you know, and discussing, you know, new sounds and shit like that. Bueno, le acabo de preguntar que cómo cómo fue sus inicios como productor y como DJ. Él nos cuenta que más eh, hacía en los 80, 90 más o menos estaba ya comenzando, ya hacía los tracks, eh, trabajaba un poco con los tapes y algo así. Eh, vino produciendo, trabajando con hip hop, con artistas de hip hop. Luego llegó el techno en esas épocas y bueno, se enamoró del techno. Eh, empezaron a llegarle sellos en, en Detroit, en, en New York. It was Detroit, New York. Chicago. En, en Chicago, yeah, Chicago. Eh, comenzó, entonces ya, ya empezó a gustarle un poco más del de, el dance como tal. El, el, que se pudiera bailar, se pudiera disfrutar en, en una discoteca, el techno. Y le empezó a gustar esto. Empezó a decidirse eh, que esto era lo que, lo que quería hacer, lo que, lo que deseaba. Music before you got into into 88, the uh, the eight label, the eight, eight how was it? Yeah, the name. Plus eight. Eight plus eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna call it eight, eight minus eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I've I've been uh, before that before my first release, I was already uh, doing music for about three or four years, uh, just in my bedroom, you know, as a hobby, just you know, making tracks and you know, experimenting. Uh, so I had like uh, a lot of cassette tapes full of music, you know, like I had like hundreds of tracks um, and I, I made copies of the tapes and I gave them to Richie and John. Uh, so, you know, before my first release, I already have uh, accumulated a big uh, library of, of my own tracks. Antes de haber sacado su primer sencillo en Plus 8 de Richie Hawking con John Aquaviva, él ya, ya, ya venía trabajando 3, 4 años eh, en la música, haciendo, haciendo eh, producciones en su cuarto.
Yo, 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 this is Speedy J. Listening to Prestige, Electro Hair, and EM2. Electro Hair. 